Hey, welcome to this guided meditation. We'll be practicing bringing this into your daily life and off the cushion so you can remain in a kind of flow state throughout your day. But research on meditation has found that it is dose dependent, like exercise, which means that the more you train, the more you can expect to get out of it. And those who we might consider mental athletes or even mental Olympians, it seems like their brain is just naturally in a meditative state even when they're not meditating. This was a kind of surprise finding about these advanced mental Olympians when they came into the neuroscience lab. Even when they were, they were not technically meditating, they were just sitting there, it was found that their brain naturally had a 25 times greater gamma brainwave activity than the average person. And this generally indicates a state of heightened awareness and bliss. So let's go ahead and start the practice. You can make yourself comfortable. And it's good if you have a little room to walk around after we start sitting. And go ahead and relax from the top of your head down to your feet. You can sit there just enjoying for a minute with a small smile on your lips. What's the attitude in your observing mind? Are you trying to get somewhere into practice or just enjoying? Especially if you come from a lot of activity, doing mode, or thinking mode, it can take a little time for the brain to switch into being mode. So just give it a minute here and enjoy. Now you can start to kindle this positive feeling. Whichever tool has worked best for you, it could be remembering a happy memory or using a phrase like, may I be happy? Or you might picture a cute animal or baby. I like baby porcupine. And you can also picture a, a friend, somebody it's easy to feel metaphor. Whichever of these brings up the feeling easiest for you. You could just kind of use that tool. It's almost like putting the key in the, in the ignition and that just gets the positive feeling going. And then once the engine started, sit back and enjoy the ride. If you start to kind of veer off the road, in other words, your mind goes into thinking, then and just take a moment to recognize release, like opening a clenched fist. And that also means releasing any tension in your head, in your jaw. 
then relish. Enjoy that subtle bliss of being present again, of coming back to the positive feeling. And remain there. Remain there until the next distraction. But the remain isn't like a forced focusing, it's just going for a ride in the vehicle. This positive feeling. Now you can slowly open your eyes if they were closed, maintaining a soft gaze. You can slowly rise and take that feeling with you, keeping your gaze soft and open, not focusing, just sinking into the joyful feeling joyful qualities of this natural awareness, almost a kind of flow state. As you begin to walk around in a, an open space, if possible, somewhere you're not going to trip, where you don't have to look around too carefully. And you can really do this anywhere throughout your day, but it's good to practice in a place where your movement will be simple and your gaze can be unfocused and broad. In other words, you're not looking around here and there. And if there's something that catches your attention, you use the four R's to recognize Release, relish, and remain. Staying in this non fixated awareness, this open attention. Enjoy. Enjoy. So you, you're just kind of walking back and forth or in a circle or whatever your space allows here. Staying with this positive feeling and then just allowing yourself to realize that it's possible to remain meditating even as you move about. It's kind of mobile zen on the move, but the mind is very tranquil, uplifted. And then just applying the four R's when the mind gets carried away, when it's completely gone, 
lost in thoughts, then recognize, release, relish, and remain. Okay, great work. Feel free to keep meditating. If you're coming out of your session, you might just reflect back and notice what you learned about your mind. Was it uh, more difficult as you moved about to be with the object of meditation, the positive feeling? The mind can often go deeper when we sit, especially sitting for longer and longer periods of time. But it's also important to bring the training into our daily life. So ultimately we can be meditating all day long. And that's when you'll see the greatest benefits like these mental athletes I talked about in the beginning. So you can maybe set the intention to bring these four R's into your daily life. Continue to meditate as often as you remember, you're building your meta-awareness. And I'll see you over in the lesson where we'll talk about the two hemispheres of the brain, some interesting differences that can apply to our practice. 